If you've been scrolling through your feeds lately, you've probably stumbled upon hashtags like corpcore, cottagecore, or tenniscore under different posts. Nowadays, nearly every iconic style or trend is captured as a niche aesthetic with a distinctive core suffix. With so many out there, it's easy to get lost in the sea of aesthetics. Different lifestyles and visual elements express specific themes, moods, identities, or community vibes. This concept has blossomed online, especially on TikTok. The Zoomers, which I don't really know if I'm part of, they're leading the charge, drawing inspiration from pop culture, historical eras, mythical realms, and more. And it's quite useful because when you're seeking inspiration for a specific aesthetic, you can go on Pinterest and simply type in Corp core or tennis core, a myriad of diverse outfit ideas will be there ready to spark your imagination and elevate your style game. All modern niche aesthetics share the common core element in their names, symbolizing the essence or heart of something. Fun fact, even the trend of naming these movements is dubbed name core. <sighs> niche aesthetics capture the core features of a certain concept or lifestyle, embodying its mood and bringing together fans into different communities. These aesthetics shine through images, fashion, decor, and other visual elements. It is completely natural for our brains to label things, but I must admit that I do find it a bit annoying when everything is tagged with core, especially the most casual outfits, and someone may scream, oh my god, this is so whatever core, um, and it feels a bit overdone. It's also a bit annoying when people tell you that a certain thing doesn't match another thing or something like, you're not doing it right, you cannot call yourself a true cowgirl. So let's get this straight, we are here to have fun, to be creative and explore some fashion options. Hey guys, my name is Anna, I hope you're doing well and today I thought it would be fun to try out different aesthetics. Trying out different styles is always fun, first of all because experimenting with various styles allows you to express different facets of your personality and creativity. It's a form of self exploration and can help you discover what truly resonates with you. My favorite example is bleaching your eyebrows because if you've never bleached your eyebrows, how do you know if you like them or you don't like them? So I feel like every person has to bleach their eyebrows at some point in their lives. Adapting different styles also enhances your versatility. Whether in fashion, art, writing, or any other domain, being able to adapt and switch styles can make you more dynamic and capable. Each style comes with its own set of techniques, rules, and philosophies. By trying them out, you learn new skills and perspectives which can contribute to your overall growth and development. One day I'm feeling like Kate Middleton, and another day I'm feeling like Lisbeth Salander, but I'm still me and I'm giving a certain twist to each outfit. It's like you're playing a different character each time you're getting dressed up. And this may sound cheesy, but overall, trying out different styles is a journey of exploration and discovery that can enrich your life in many ways. Maybe your inner aesthetic is waiting for you to discover it. All right, so let's get this started. Cherry Red Aesthetic Cherry Red has been a favorite color of some of the fashionistas ever since fall 2023, and it is one of the most popular trends and colors of the current fashion scene. While red has always been revered as a classic addition to any outfit, the color has not seen this level of resurgence in decades. The last time red held such space in culture was the era of swing dresses. Looking back at 50s fashion, the red swing dress epitomized the idea of the all-American girl, a symbol of innocence, youth, femininity, and subtle sensuality. While the traditional American girl image has evolved in the decades since, red has morphed into a symbol of rebellion and freedom in combination with Americana elegance. From Ralph Lauren's now iconic flag sweater to the red leather pieces climbing up the trend ladder, the modern day trend integrates the long history of red in fashion with its new identity and culture. From fashion to beauty, there's no better time to find a place for cherry red in your closet. For this outfit, I decided to wear this gorgeous velvet dress from Mika's and complement it with red accessories, a red bow, earrings, and heels. This dress effortlessly combines elegance with a touch of bold flair, making it a perfect choice for any special occasion. The rich cherry red color is both striking and sophisticated, while the luxurious velvet fabric adds a layer of depth and refinement. Every time I slip into this dress, I feel an instant boost of confidence and coolness. Its flattering silhouette hugs my curves in all the right places, making me look and feel poised and glamorous. And you guys know 
know that I really like wearing a monochromatic outfit as they look very classy and it looks like you put a lot of effort into it when in reality it doesn't take much time. This whole outfit also looks very bright and when you enter into a room everyone is looking at you and it's perfect to feel like a princess but without going completely overboard. And I love the velvet texture of the dress because it gives it a bit of sophistication and I also like that this dress is very elegant and even if you're not wearing makeup on that day, you wear this dress and it will make you look flawless. Office Siren. If you haven't seen The Devil Wears Prada, stop this video and go watch it because this is unacceptable. As you guys know, it is a 2006 comedy drama film. The movie follows the story of Andrea Andy Sachs, played by the iconic Anne Hathaway, a recent college graduate who lends a job as the assistant to Miranda Priestly, played by Meryl Streep. The powerful and demanding New York City-based editor-in-chief of the fictional fashion magazine Runway, similar to Vogue. In The Devil Wears Prada, almost every character embodies the essence of the office siren. And Andy calls them the clackers because of the clacking noise their stiletto heels make against the marble floors of the office building. You will notice many outfits from this movie exude confidence, sophistication, and an undeniable allure that commands attention in every scene. These are the keywords that we're looking for for the office siren slash corpcore aesthetic. Professionalism, ambition, and the art of commanding respect in the workplace. Office Siren can demonstrate how confidence and a hint of allure can elevate one's presence and impact in a professional setting. And many people say that Office Siren is just an upgraded version of the so-called 90s sexy secretary look. I know it sounds like only the label has changed, but the 2024 Office Siren is much more independent and alluring than ever. The following are crucial when gathering your Office Siren look. A Yoneta glasses or other eyewear from the 2000s, a vintage chic bag, skin heels, pencil skirts, and simple but bold accessories. For this Office Siren look, I'm styling my vintage black and white polka dot pants, a white cross shirt from Mika's, which can be adjusted around your waist, which I absolutely love, because you can accentuate your waist, making the whole look more sleek and polished. And in general, one of my absolute wardrobe favorites is a white shirt. This one in particular has a timeless elegance but also a modern flair, and it makes me look effortlessly stylish whether I'm dressing it up with a sleek skirt or down with a pair of jeans. The crisp, clean look of a white shirt exudes a sense of cool sophistication that instantly elevates any outfit. I really felt chic in this outfit and I truly embodied the aesthetic of Giselle Bunchen in the Devil Wears Prada. Vintage Aesthetic The vintage aesthetic in and of itself is a rich mosaic crafted from diverse historical influences, each era offering its own unique charm and style. From the rebellious spirit of the 1920s flappers to the glamour of the 1950s and the free-spirited bohemian vibes of the 1970s, vintage aesthetics span a spectrum of cultural movements and fashion trends. The Victorian era, which lasted from the early 19th century to the turn of the 20th century, holds a special allure within the vintage aesthetic landscape. It was a time marked by opulence, refinement, and romanticism, and its influence reverberates through fashion, art, and design to this day. At its core, the Victorian-inspired vintage aesthetic is defined by its attention to detail and emphasis on craftsmanship. Certainly, there are a myriad of ways to integrate it into your wardrobe, ranging from fully historical recreations reminiscent of the 19th century to more subtle interpretations much like the approach that I've taken. For this look, I'm styling a vintage inspired corset from Mika's with the thrifted skirts that I bought in Paris. I love this look so much because it's also very elegant and pretty in its own way. The corset in particular is such a fun and cool element and I absolutely love that it's back in fashion. It feels so historical and as a kid I always wanted to try and wear it in real life to feel like a princess. When they came back in fashion, I was always hesitant to try out a corset because I thought it would be very tight and uncomfortable and it would expose everything. But it's totally not the case. You can adjust it in the back and you also feel very, very secure in the front thanks to the metal buttons. I absolutely love the texture of the corset as well and it's very good quality. The intricate detailing and timeless design give it a sophisticated charm that instantly elevates any outfit. Wearing it makes me feel incredibly cool and confident. I love the exposed shoulders, the neckline is completely visible, and it's so sensual but still very elegant and gorgeous. As you guys have noticed, some of the elements in the previous outfits were kindly provided by Mika's for this video. 
the red dress, the white shirt, and the corset. I'm excited to share a special discount code with you. Use the promo code ATATLIN12 to get a discount at Mika's. As you've seen, Mika's offers a fantastic range of diverse and versatile pieces. And whether you're captivated by the vibrant cherry red, want to embody the chic office siren look, or adore vintage-inspired corsets, Mika's has something for everyone. I genuinely love their selection and the versatility of their pieces is incredible. Plus, the delivery was impressively quick. From beautiful swimsuits perfect for the upcoming summer to stylish jewelry, casual shirts, and elegant dresses, Mika's has it all. So go ahead and explore their collection. You're bound to find something you love. And don't forget about the promo code. I leave everything down in the description. Coastal Cowgirl Aesthetic This aesthetic is all about cowboy boots, cowboy hats, and beachy vibes. Coastal Cowgirl has been taken over TikTok, and gladly you don't need to live on the coast to dress for the aesthetic. Plus, the look transcends fashion and can be accomplished in your home. It's like the cool girl version of last year's ever-popular coastal grandma aesthetic. So, how exactly do you dress like a coastal cowgirl? A quick scroll through the tag will tell you coastal cowgirl fashion is all about mixing typical southern staples like denim, button-down shirts, and Americana prints with ultra-delicate touches like eyelet, lace, and floral details. And because the look is inspired by the beach, coastal cowgirls like to keep clothing like and flowy as well. This trend encourages mixing textures like leather, crochet, and denim, which means there's a lot you can do to build a coastal cowgirl outfit. The color palette for the aesthetic also tends to be on the lighter side, so prepare to include a lot of white, cream, and ivory pieces on your coastal cowgirl-inspired Pinterest board. Plus, the style shares a lot of similarities with festival fashion thanks to its western influence. So if you're going to any music festival this summer, you might want to consider Consider trying this trend. For this outfit, I chose a bone color dress that I paired with light brown cowboy boots, a cute straw hat, and a matching straw bag. Even though it's got a cowgirl vibe, it's surprisingly neutral and simple. When I wear it, I can't help but feel like I'm in a music video singing Malibu by the beach. Goth aesthetic. Growing up, the goth aesthetic was very popular on Tumblr and Johanna Herstedt was incredibly popular. She was the epitome of a gothic girl. She embodied that whole aesthetic. The goth aesthetic is a subculture that emerged in the late 1970s and early 1980s and is characterized by its dark and mysterious style. It's often associated with gothic literature, alternative music genres, and horror films. The goth aesthetic is known for its distinctive fashion which includes black clothing, heavy makeup, and unique unique accessories. It's also defined by its dark elements. Black is the predominant color in goth fashion, symbolizing misery, melancholy, and rebellion. Most of the time, goths wear clothing made of velvet, lace, leather, or fishnet materials. They may also incorporate elements such as corsets, Victorian-inspired dresses, again, and platform boots into their outfits. Aside from clothing, goth aesthetic extends to hairstyles and makeup. In terms of makeup, this is a great place to really express yourself. I just love watching makeup tutorials on TikTok, for different ideas. For this goss aesthetic, I'm wearing a two-layer black dress that I feel embodies the essence of the style perfectly. The dress's design and black color make it an ideal choice for achieving this look. Complementing this dress, I'm sporting dramatic dark makeup with a bold dark lip liner that accentuates the intensity of the aesthetic. My micro bangs add a distinctive touch as they're a signature element of the goth style. To complete the outfit, I've added a pair of fishnet gloves which enhance the overall edgy and mysterious vibe. Altogether, each element harmonizes to create a cohesive and cool goth aesthetic that I absolutely love. So, what did you think about these outfits? Which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear back from you. Also, let me know which aesthetic you're planning to incorporate into your wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching and if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next one. Bye-bye!